Hey, welcome back. We are heading back into Andrea's Modern Mansion build. This is the second part of this build. If you first met, oh no, hold on. If you missed the first part, go and check it out because we met all of the OG Lego Friends girls as grown ups and they're all hanging out here at the moment at Andrea's Modern Mansion because now she's a pop star because of course she is. This is as far as we got in our first part of the build. We are making sure that we enjoy this, but it's a massive build. So we are going to take our time as much as possible, but also speed through, <laughs> speed through it because it's 2000 pieces. So bag number seven is where we're up to. Our Paisley came in this bag. Uh, we've already seen her. Go back and check it out if you haven't already. She's now gonna hang out in the pool. Uh, put the oh, I put the links for the first part in a little eye in the corner in the description box below. But if you just if you just search it, it'll come up. All right, here we go. So bag number seven, straight into the pool room. <laughs> Is that just an Australian reference? That like things that are absolutely keepers, like Andrea's record award or her, her like music award goes to the pool room things that you're going to be keeping and that you're very proud of we've also got a like a mixing board here on oh, look at that when you pull it out you get the hidden guest bed but this is also her her workroom her recording room so here's like a mixing monetary thing or oh, that's a, a cannot imagine having somebody sleeping in that room but it actually if she's working really hard she's really busting out those tunes then she can just have a bit of a nap on the guest bed I think that's pretty smart and here's a microphone I don't know why I said that so strangely microphone microphone now it feels really weird in my mouth also a little stool to sit on in here which is currently seated on a jumper stud so that but you can move that out put that in front when you're recording put it to the side when you've got the bed actually actually out Got a little bookcase with a couple of awards. I think that's what the letter is. The gold thing's most definitely award. So little awards on top of the bookcase. And this is all tucked in underneath the stairs and behind the pool. So you can peek into the pool. You'll be able to peek into the, the like the lower levels of the pool from down here. That's so, that's so awesome. That's so, so fancy. It's so fancy. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> we all wish we could live like this. Okay, she has got a, this is her letterbox, got filled to the brim with three different types of fan mail, so that's really cool. Number 90, she lives at 90, probably not Heart Lake City, though I don't know, the, <laughs> it's so hard to tell from all of the different the different bills that we have. Who knows? I, I, does she live in Heart Lake City? Her number plate has an HLC on it, so I'm going to assume that it's registered to Heart Lake City, so that would make sense. So she comes back here as her home beat. Her, yeah, her, her home base. That would make sense to me. All right, so we have got some rock work garden bedding things happening here with some succulents. These little tiny uh, earthy colored, they're not really earthy colored, but muted colored tones are definitely succulents or really hardy plants to be able to manage in this arid desert land, desert, 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 desert landscape. Got two different shades of succulent, nice big lush succulents. Can succulents be lush? Yeah, I suppose. Yes, of course they can. Succulents can definitely be lux, lux. lush. Oh, I'm deaf. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. We've only just started. Beautiful. So this turns around and I'm just trying to angle these so they're not all facing the same way, the same angles. And then it goes sideways onto our wall that we built in the previous part. How good does that look? How good is the landscaping? This is, oh, wow. The detailing of this is just incredible. I love the muted landscaping colors against the sunset gradient. So nice. Such a really nice juxtaposition. I have this left over at the end. Not a piece I should have had. So I forgot to put the top on the bookcase. There we go. Now we're good. Okay. Next bag, which I forgot to show you is bag number eight. This is the bag that Olivia, grown up astronaut, it comes in and she comes equipped with a selfie stick, which is uh, once again, not showing a selfie of her. I don't know how how they think they're going to record with the actual you know home page of the phone up there anyway but we'll we'll just pretend so she's here with Andrea let's keep building while they just enjoy catching up again it's been a whole year since they saw each other guys I'm sure that's facts okay next level next level so this is poolside so we've got a little succulent box oh, I love the use of the oh, of the little hairbrushy kind of thing in turquoise <laughs> as a plant got a floaty which is actually suspended in 
are in the pool. We've got a ladder to get out of the pool, but there are also steps on the other side of the pool, which I don't know, they're very easy to see, but we built them, built them previously. Okay, some more rock work over here on this side. Hopefully we get a few more succulents to kind of soften, soften that up. But all those angle pieces are lovely. Little bits of green, like little spots of green, just to, yeah, break up the brown. Okay, next level, we've got a big piece of flooring on here. <laughs> got our garage down below with our ejector car, which I already scratched. Sorry, Andrea. Oh. Okay, we've got Mamma Mia in the pool and now we're seeing what's happening here on the second level. So this middle section that's actually open is going to have a lift that's going to go up to the top. I'm <laughs> very exciting. I'm excited to find out how that mechanism all works because we've already had so much fun with the garage. This seems like kind of a terracy section. So we've got glass, glass railings, do you call it railing? A glass fencing? Don't even know what you call it. Glass bits along the edge, very modern, very clean, very sleek, very chic. Got black lined along the top too, which juxtaposes. I've used that word once, so I'm gonna use it again and again because I forgot it existed. So now I'm gonna overuse it. Yeah, juxtaposes the sunset gradient really, really nicely. Oh, we've got giant screw. We have a giant screw to put in here and that's how oh, this lift piece, which we have seen previously in the, uh, the kitty thing. The, Kitty, uh, Gabby's Playhouse. It was in pink though, so now we've got it in black. We're up to bag number nine. Let's find out what's gonna go on this little mezzanine style level, I think. So we have got a brown uh, wood, wood lined section at the back and at the front we've got, oh, I just love the little, I just got so excited putting the cloud down in amongst all this purple round pieces. <laughs> I don't know why. Is it something about the softness of the shape? I don't know. All right. So we've got a brown, maybe a wood platform, a little built up wooden deck style thing here at the back. And then some stone concrete columns maybe on the side, unless it's going to be a little fireplace. Unsure. I put, <laughs> put that back on, put the number plate back on incorrectly after I'd crashed it. I did have to reconstruct a bit. Still scratched, but I was able to fix the broken bits. This is, we've got a little, oh, these are cool. I've never seen these before. So trans blue pieces so that we can make a cylindery pond tub. This is a spa. I wonder if I could have used those for my Taylor Swift for the lover house for the blue room. That wouldn't really make a goldfish bowl effect, but it's the same idea. So, but this is much more modern concept. So we have got, wow, we've got a spa cantilevered off the front. So it kind of looks as though it's going to fall off. It's yeah, amazing. The little, little soap suds in there and not sticking onto the studs. Okay. Got our concrete, grey concrete pillars going up the side. They're going to be for supports. Oh, the purple pieces are to pop. <laughs> purple pieces are to pop. Chairs on. Are these the same chairs that were in the, come on, in the furniture, like the Ikea furniture store last year? Are they? I'm going to have to look. I remember they were glass ones, but I can't remember if the bottom of them was the same colour scheme. Maybe they're just a variant. Maybe they shopped at, shopped at the furniture store. These are so cool. Everything's so cool. But these little see-through saucer plate. Oh my goodness. See-through saucer pieces. Got some nice pastel macarons on them. Very fancy goblets. Uh, like martini, no, they're champagne glasses. This is like, it's like we're on the Orient Express, which Lego also released with these pieces in them too, with this glass saucer. Love it. It's so, so fancy. I just love how fancy it is. Got another round concrete pillar up, which is going to be a really good support. Black doorway here and getting some concreting happening along the top. I don't think the next level's detachable. We're up to bag number 10, but I think all these smooth bits are just so it's easier to layer down the next level. Right. Okay. Bag number 10. <laughs> We've got some furniture pieces to build for the wooden decking at the back of the eating area that we currently have. So we've got a microphone, we've got a little stool, we've got side table on roller skates and we have got a piano obviously because on this is like a little performing area for Andrea tiny it's a very very low to the ground piano I'm gonna imagine it's an electric one because there's not a lot not terribly comp it's a, it's an electric baby grand I'm gonna say it's a white electric baby grand get the right pieces in here so it actually goes together nice very simple <laughs> okay so this goes up here and this gets installed oh that one goes there I think 
and we'll turn our demented berb around so it can watch what's going on. That thing, yeah, okay, the thing on the roller skates is actually just kind of the bottom part of the piano built separately. Clever. Okay. So exciting, we're getting so many cool details. And also, you will have noted from the box art that there are a lot of curved surfaces in this and we are building a nice big slatted curved wall. Looks so good, that's going to be, is there room to go around on the other side? I'll have to have a go with a mini doll to be able to walk down into the pool. So this is surrounding the lift, look at that. <laughs> this is so fun. This is very, very fun, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this like me. This is bringing me so much glee and joy. Okay, right, so we got our, <laughs> moved our lift all the way back down to the bottom. Another piece of furniture. Um, This is a tiny little sink kind of thing. Ooh, very clever way to make a tiny kitchenette section. So this just goes here in the walkway area. There really is no kitchen as such in this build. So this is kind of like the idea of a kitchen. There's not a lot of room on the inside, but I feel as though there's enough stuff. We haven't built it all yet, but I feel as though it's enough because I'm just enjoying it all so much. So this is beside the pool. We have got some slatted woodwork, got a beach towel, oh, two by little, like two by roundy things now. And some sunscreen, which we saw last year in the Lego Friends rescue sets, but so good to see it. I hope we see them in so many, so many sets because sunscreen is an absolute must, especially here in Australia. So this looks kind of like this is a roofing support. Nope, it needs to go out there. Wow, so that is hanging off the edge. <laughs> it all looks so precarious, but it is all really sturdy so far. Bag number 11, it's going to be so cool to find out how this how this is sturdy wise at the end. I never really thought about that. Love the floating floaty thing in the pool. It just gives it gives a really great dimension to the whole thing. This is the bag that Amani uh, came in. So let's get building here because this is Amani's bedroom. Actually, no, not quite yet. Uh, there, this is Amani's bathroom <laughs> or it's the whole family's bathroom because everybody's going to have to go through Amani's room to get to the bathroom, which seems like a little bit of an architectural nightmare to me. But I think that the designers had to fit things in where they could. So here's the sticker that gives you all of the details on the wall. Nice generic stuff fits in kind of everywhere, fits very nicely with the modern style of this. The toilet and there's a sink and then we have the door and we have no shower or bath. I suppose they could bath in the sink. You could have fitted a shower in there. Hmm, okay, so no shower or bath. Going to be they're rich, but they're stinky. They're stinking rich. This is for Amani's bedroom. So she's got a little toy car, got a wand and what I think, like a fairy wand, and what I think is a lava lamp. I think that's what it is. Very tall lava lamp on the shelves. <laughs> well, it could be something else. I'm trying to think what else it might be. A really, really chunky lightsaber. <laughs> and in her room, she's got a, got a mat going from the bathroom into her room and a little table with some artwork on it. She's been painting a oh, little doggo. Got a, oh, not painting, maybe drawing. So we've got just one pen in here. It's a very small room. So it's just as kind of the idea of, the idea of what she would need in here. Not enough clutter for my liking, but it is a very modern look. So clutter is not really necessary, right? And for her bed, she gets a really, really sweet sticker for the bedspread with stars on it and rainbows. And I feel as though she and Olivia might bond a bit because I think she's a little bit space obsessed by the fact that her bed is a rocket ship. So cute. It's so cute. Look at that. So this tucks over here in the corner and then that's it for her room. There is no room for anything else in her room. Aww cute but there is room for her to actually stand up on the plate on the base plate so that's good she's going to need obviously some windows and walls but we'll get to them in a moment when I've got the roofing correct or the supports for the roof okay all right so the windows themselves this is really intricate so we're not just banging on some big brick pieces here we are making art we're making art out of window things <laughs> prepare yourself this is so fun right so we've got a modern kind of black outline around the edges here but you see those little black clips they're going to add some color in a moment got another one of those orangey red we got a one by one four tile no one by four tile up 
which is brand new in that color and then it's kind of just disappeared into the into the ceiling line there but it was there it definitely existed it's a weird place to shove it brand new color can't even see it oh my gosh all right so we, we i thought i thought we were going to work on the window but we're not we're going to work on the next level so we're up to bag number 12 a whole heap more wooden slatted flooring so i'm going to assume this is an outdoor area as well uh big turquoise rug kind of thing on the top or maybe it's going to be a bed so now we get to work on the exterior here which is really really fascinating so we've got wood like a big wood panel going up with some white paneling along it pink nice pink with the black frames for the windows big tall section in here so that's the outside of the bathroom and we've got some shutters some shutters that are going to all go in in the sunset gradient that we have around the rest of the house. I had thought that these shutters from the picture might actually slide along to actually open and close, but they don't. They're fixed, but you can kind of tilt them. So that's all right. I'm okay with that. Totally on board. <laughs> and this is the, I can't even think what the word is. It goes like the, the around, the surrounds. The surrounds for our big tall part of the window, a pink pink part of the window and then black surrounds here which have got the sunset gradient on it again I just love saying sunset gradient because it's just gorgeous it's in sunset ombre ombre right so this goes up here on this bit that seemed as though it was going to be precarious off the side but it's only precarious if I don't see it properly there we go <gasps> that looks amazing with all of that negative space underneath like all of that open space all right bag number 13 this is the one that Mia came in she does come with an accessory she comes with a phone everybody's got to keep in contact these days so everybody gets a phone I've seen two different phone prints in this set already <laughs> so cool all right love this we got the coral pieces in that weird little uh, and a squeezed in waist kind of shape which gives you some interesting tiling effects Alternated with the light nougat color looks so nice all of these smooth tile places as much as I love them I really really love the look of them I really also need some little jumper studs in amongst them so that I can actually put some characters on there and not have them topple over everywhere so going up the front stairs I might be replacing some of those black pieces with uh, some which have just got some jumper studs as well yeah I might just have to do a little bit of replacing because otherwise every t everybody's going to topple off here absolutely love the curved white white segmented surfaces going up the side around the elevator the middle lift oh it's looking so good another one of these little bits which help compartmentalize the whole thing and then next level getting these black bits in, in the right place this is all getting so high that I'm actually having trouble <laughs> trouble getting to this with my camera it's so good it's so good to have a set of this it's actually not that difficult to build it's not a difficult build it's just like spectacular but the instructions are so easy to follow that I don't think you yeah I really don't think you need to be 14 plus to be able to build this absolutely not I reckon if you're good at following instructions you will be a-okay on this right this is this is what I've been waiting for to find out what all of these stickers are because these are memories so we've got Andrea with Amani as a little baby and we have got got oh uh, Olivia and Emma maybe at uni or uh, maybe in I don't know somewhere overseas we've got Andrea and Olivia are all growing up or growing up maybe like maybe they're university pictures so these go up here on this level it's like kind of like a photo wall section but we're not finished with it yet we've got more we've got more I'm so excited to see all these and oh, and Andrea and Stephanie Stephanie with a little bob with a little short bob oh, I think that would be so cute I wish we had an appropriate hair piece for maybe Mrs Incredible's hair piece Mrs Incredible's hair piece yeah I think so is that it yeah uh I think her hair piece would look really good in blonde and a family shot of G1 and Andrea and Imani oh my goodness my heart's just full all of these pictures they're just so good I didn't realize I was so sentimental what are we putting on this one it's the graduation shot that is actually in Autumn's house on Mia's wall oh so it's got Mia in I'm just trying to straighten it up a bit we've got Mia and we've got Stephanie in their graduating caps might be high school might be uni oh my goodness me oh that's all just so lovely and these get oh okay so we've got books as well so maybe it's a bookcase with photo frames interspersed amongst them maybe maybe yeah okay all right so we've got a couple more little stickers on to have like the book binders the ed ends of the book sticking out 
Ah, this one looks like it might be. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the other one. I remember the music. The one with the music one on it was that one in someone else's room, like one of the new old, like the new Lego Friends bedrooms. I think it might have been, or maybe it was just the same color and it didn't have a music emblem on it. I mean, they could have the same books on their shelves. That would be like perfectly logical. <laughs> they all shop at the same bookshop. All right, bag number fourteen. This is where we are up to so far. How incredible is it looking? Oh my goodness, those succulents, my heart, it looks so good. The, oh, the, the lines, the colors, it's all so good. Right, check back in for the rest of this film. I'm stopping it there. We've just like paused, that's it. We are paused because I need to have a little bit of a cup of tea before we go on to the next part. All right, check back in. More coming up soon. I'll see you then. Bye.